Hi, I'm Joe Gertis, and this is Coffee in the Capital. Our guest today is State Senator John Gordon, representing the 27th Senatorial District, covering Columbia, Montour, Northumberland, Snyder, and part of Luzerne counties. Senator, thank you for taking the time to join us today. Good to be with you this afternoon. Senator, for over two decades, you've served your constituents first in the House of Representatives, and you're currently in the middle of your fifth term as state senator. You've worked so closely with PSATs over the years, uh, been a great friend and an advocate for uh, for townships. Um, most recently, I know you've run into my colleague, Holly Fischel, uh, at the Columbia County uh, Convention. And I know that's a really important way uh, for our members uh, to make policy at PSATs and through our resolution process. How does your interaction with, with township officials at those conventions help you do your job in Harrisburg? Certainly one thing that's been uh, common over the last 30 years is uh, a very good relationship and close relationship uh, with the township supervisors organizations and PSATs. Um, you know, as you mentioned, uh, just in the month of October, uh, I attended uh, the Snyder County Convention uh, the Montour County Convention and the Columbia County uh, Convention. And it's really a great place uh, for me to run into uh, local officials, uh, whether they're supervisors, uh, tax collectors, uh, auditors, uh, secretaries. And again, uh, one of the great things about PSATs, it is a truly a grassroots um, organization. And for instance, at the Columbia County meeting that I was at, uh, their resolutions committee had several proposals, uh, which they uh, bandied about. Uh, I think they passed two, and one I believe they ended up not uh, taking as a result of some conversation uh, mm -hmm. that they had at that meeting. Uh, but those end up, uh, you know, coming from those county organizations, from supervisors that have had uh, some sort of issue in their municipality that they would like to see change at the statewide level obviously up to your uh, state uh, level. And then uh, I've had the privilege, including uh, this year in April, of uh, attending uh, your statewide organization in Hershey. Uh, I was able to give the, uh, the Senate uh, sort of uh, bring down in regard to what's going on there. And when you can go into a packed room of a couple thousand uh, township officials, uh, it's incredible. It's the representatives at that uh, statewide meeting that then adopt policy uh, to affect change. And, and that's really uh, an outstanding way to get things done. It really is, Senator. We very much appreciate your attendance there. And I know everyone enjoys hearing from you. Um, Senator, as we get to the end of this legislative session and getting ready to start a new legislation, uh, ne new legislative session, one thing's for sure, we're gonna have a lot of new faces, particularly in the House and a few in the Senate. And that's before we know the results of of the uh, of last week's election. How do you help mentor those new members, some of which may have local government experience, some of which some may not? Sure, uh, we certainly are having a, a significant turnover in the Senate in our caucus. Uh, we have six members uh, that will not be back, uh, including our current president pro tem, Jay Corman, uh, the current uh, appropriations chair, Pat Brown, uh, Tommy Tomlinson, who's been here since the early 90s. Yep. Uh, so we're going to be losing some significant experience. Um, but, you know, uh, gaining some new voices, uh, some new ideas. Right. Uh, there's actually a number of state representatives that are running for those Senate seats. So they won't or they'll, they'll you know, hit the ground running this amount of uh, sewer and water. Yes. Um, and, uh, you know, as part of the Growing Greener program, uh, those monies that are available so that if you know, townships are looking at any sort of a sewer or water type of project or a park type of project. Um, there's a tremendous amount of funds and actually also in regard to uh, conservation district projects, sure. um, there's several hundred million dollars for the ag com uh, community as it relates to uh, the Chesapeake Bay. So such a huge issue for our members uh, and one that uh, you know we're thankful there's opportunities to help uh, to help our townships uh, you know go through what is sometimes a very costly and, uh, and expensive process. Yes um, but before we adopt policy in the House and Senate you know we need to hear from local officials as to 
you know, broadband. Pennsylvania is, is going to be getting hundreds of millions of dollars over the next four or five years from the federal government for broadband. Sure. But, uh, I, you know, broadband was an issue prior to COVID. Uh, COVID added like seven exclamation points uh, to the need for it. Uh, whether it's, uh, you know, remote uh, studying with schools, uh, whether it's businesses, or still so many uh, employees who were working in a office building prior to COVID, you know, are, are working at home remotely. And so having um, access uh, to a strong um, available broadband is, is very important. And we estimate in Pennsylvania, we're probably gonna get between 400 and $600 million. And the federal legislation says the priority is for underserved and unserved area. Uh, we're now reaching out to uh, counties and local officials asking, you know, what areas of your township uh, do not have service? And uh, are there locations where we could put transponders or something else in order to get service? Sure. Um, what is your experience in regard to the solar farm issue? And are there things that we should be looking at uh, to help you to make those decisions? So once again, it's it's important to have a, a direct conversation with elected officials and state officials on topics like that. So that's all the time we have today for Coffee in the Capitol. Thank you again so much for taking the time to join us. Thanks, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you for joining us on Coffee in the Capitol this month. Remember, if you like what you're seeing, email tvn at psats.org. Also, be sure to subscribe to PSAT's YouTube channel. Hit the bell button for notifications, follow our social media pages, and head over to the TVN page at psats.org for more township video news content. As always, thanks for watching.